For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Salvation is through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Jesus said, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So there is no other means to get to God, the Father, except by Jesus Christ, the Son, and Jesus is God. Jesus said, I and the Father are one. Thomas proclaimed, my God, to Jesus, and Jesus did not rebuke him. And God has set forth through the scriptures to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And one of the hardest things is people think, oh, I go to church. I was baptized. I'm a good person. And those will not get you to heaven. Being good, the Bible says there is none that do it good. That's the Bible. Romans. And when the Bible says you do not do good, you sure have not done good enough to get to heaven. When Jesus Christ and the finished work the Bible tells us, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is not come to my church. The gospel is not, hey, I'll baptize you here in the river. The gospel is not here, give me money. No, the gospel is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scripture, and he was buried, and he arose again the third day. That's the gospel. Don't give me your money, don't give me your time. Give it to Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You must put your sins upon Jesus, for the Bible says, Behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That Lamb of God is Jesus Christ. Peter says he's precious without spot. Jesus Christ is sinless. We are not. We do not ever get to the state of sinlessness until we die and we die in our sins and you go to hell. People who are in hell who will go to hell are there because they rejected Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world, the sin of the world. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. In your natural state of who you are, you come short of going to heaven. And you're not going to make it by your deeds. By your doing, by your way, you will end up in hell forever. And the Bible says again, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Hell. The entire story of Jesus Christ being born in Bethlehem and growing up to die on Calvary's cross and coming out of that tomb is for the salvation of man and to prove to you that Jesus is God and you are not. When the Bible says there is none righteous, no, not one. You need to be righteous to go to heaven. The Bible says, God says, be holy, for I am holy. You are not holy. One lustful thought, stealing a pencil or pen, telling one lie makes you a sinner. 
If you have ever dishonored your parents, you are a sinner. You can't get to heaven in your sin. You are incapable of being before a holy and righteous God being a sinner. But you do have access to heaven and God. By Jesus, not me, but by Jesus who said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when Jesus says, I am the way, it ain't your way. It's God's way. And God's way is not religion. God's way is not what you can do. It is what Jesus Christ has already done. Your means of getting to the Father are by the means of Jesus Christ dying on Calvary's cross according to Our entrance before the Father is that they buried Jesus, the dead Jesus, they buried him. And the victory, to say if I were to die in Christ and to be absent from the body and present with the Lord is the fact is that Jesus Christ came out of that, that tomb three days and three nights according to the Scripture. There are people buried in Daytona Beach that have been buried for 300 plus years and they haven't come out of the grave. Jesus proved his Godship. Jesus approved of his being of God. Approval is that he came out of that grave according to the prophecy of three days and three nights. How do you know that Jesus is God? He came out of that tomb. Three days and three nights. No pope, no rabbi, no preacher, no religious person has come out of the grave. But Jesus. John said, he that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Now John said, in the Son there is life, and Jesus says, I am the life. And the Bible goes forth to say the wages of sin is death. You're going to die because you're a sinner. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. There's that life again. And in the Bible, life comes through Jesus Christ and no attendance anywhere. Life comes by the faith and belief and the repentance to Jesus, it doesn't come by getting wet. That, that dying thief that died on the cross, that got saved, that went to paradise, he did not get baptized, he did not go to any church, and Jesus met him after death and place that man in paradise for all eternity. The other dying thief rejected Jesus Christ and died and went to hell because he would not put his faith and trust upon Jesus alone. Anchor back down to uh, Oak Hill. Let's go down Route 1. I'm not, yeah, go down Ridgewood, about 22 miles. And when the Bible starts off with, for God so loved the world, there's the love of God. 
that he gave. God gave. And the gift of God's eternal life is Jesus Christ our Lord. That he gave his only begotten son. That's Jesus. That whosoever believeth in him, Jesus, shall not perish. There's the everlasting, there's the eternal life shown up. The Bible states clearly it is Jesus Christ that will save your soul. It is only by Jesus Christ clearly spoken. There is no place in the book of Acts that one apostle, one Christian said, come to church and you'll be saved. <laughs> Philip made sure that Ethiopian eunuch believed on Jesus before he baptized him. It is by the precious blood of Jesus Christ we are saved. And only by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Anything else you do in the name of religion and in the name of how good you are and you will die in your sin and you will go to hell. It is so simple to go to hell. And yet it is so simple to go to heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe in anything but Jesus and go to hell. There is one set of directions to God the Father. And Jesus said, I am the way to the Father. There is no other access to God except by Jesus Christ. I'm sadly here to tell you if you want to get to heaven outside of Jesus Christ, you will not make it. According to the scriptures, the Holy Bible, and if any preacher, pastor, rabbi, pope, or priest, or anybody preaches other than Jesus, they are an unholy. They have another Jesus, they have another gospel, and they have another spirit, and they'll put you in another place outside of God. And when you want the love of God, when you want God's love, and the Bible says God is love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The love of God is Jesus Christ. Listen, it's not one particular church. There are saved individuals in all the churches. But the church won't get you to heaven. By the salvation only through Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe in anything else and you're going to hell. And this is the condemnation that men love darkness rather than their light because their deeds were evil. Many of you will not come to God through Jesus Christ because you enjoy being wicked. You love evil. 
and you hate God. They love to do evil and to do good. They have no knowledge. You're too much in your pride to step out and say Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. You have been fooled by the devil and your spiritual leader to think, oh, there's another way. God has set forth his son. That's it. I mean, if you think your church can say, what if your church closed down tomorrow? What if you got in your car Sunday morning and you started driving to your church and then you realize your church is now a bar hall? The doors are locked. It's closed. It will never be open again. I thank God I've got Jesus Christ who will never close, who will never be locked, and will be always the truth. Listen, Bible-believing churches are closing rapidly throughout the world. China is shutting the churches down. You can't have churches legally in Afghanistan. So with the current events of the world and places who do not want churches, oh, I guess they don't go to heaven because there's no church. You're a fool. Because God has sent forth a man to be salvation, and in that man is Christ Jesus. It's that plain and simple. If you want the peace of God, it's through Jesus Christ. The love of God is Jesus Christ. The hope of God. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. Salvation can only be wrought through Jesus. Your blessed hope is Jesus. Your entrance into heaven is through Jesus, the door. Your water of refresh, uh, re refreshing. Oh, yeah. Jesus said, I am the water of life. How are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. This bottle of water will cost you money. But Jesus Christ said it's free. It is free. When it's of the God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bread will cost you. And Jesus said, I am the bread of life, and that also is free. Jesus said, I am the shepherd. And he will not charge you. For his shepherding. Many of your churches will charge you to be there. You know that 1 800 number at the bottom of the television screen of the televangelist because he wants your money. You think he's going to pray for you? You're crazy. And when we preach the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures, I don't have no collection plate here. But if you were to say, hey preacher, I need prayer, somebody needs prayer in my life, I will write your name down, I don't have my notebook. 
But I will get a pen in my car, I will write your name down, I will put you in my prayer book, and I won't charge you nothing. And I will continually preach the free of the salvation of God through Jesus, and it don't cost you a thing. This guy right here wants to know how much for a case. Listen, it's a hot day with a nice breeze. It is hotter in hell, and there is no breeze in the pits of hell. There is no air conditioning in hell. There is no alcohol in hell. There is no parking in hell because of fire. No one has a good time in the plane. No one enjoys third degree burns for all eternity. You must, Jesus said, be born again. And that new birth is only through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You are a sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. You will die because you are a sinner. There are multiple ways to die. But what causes death is you are a sinner. You have not thought of God the first thing, the first all the time. You have probably taken something that is not yours. You probably have told a little lie. And you probably have dishonored your parents somehow. Those are sins. You are a sinner. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to repent of them sin and to be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. God has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that the righteousness of God might be in him for us. And the only way you're going to get righteous is through repenting of your sins and getting right through Jesus, who says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father, that's you, but by me. Heaven does not have a secret entrance. Heaven does not have a second chance door. The door to get to God and get to heaven is only by Jesus Christ. And when you reject Jesus Christ, God will reject you. Depart from ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. But Lord, I was a good person. Depart from ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. God, here's the certificate of my baptism. Depart from ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. If you die in your sin, you go to hell because you have rejected Jesus Christ.
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves it is a gift of God. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. For all have come short of the glory of God. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth Confession is made unto salvation. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lift up your voice like a trumpet and show my people Come on to me, all eater heavy laden. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Come, let us the invitation that a loud mouth preacher is preaching Jesus is the invitation of God to be saved today. You can know God and you can get out of hell today by putting your faith and your trust in the finished work of Jesus. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be made white as snow. And whosoever was not found written in the land's book of life was cast off into the lake of fire. Your eternal life without Jesus is a lake that burneth forever, the lake of fire. Your only hope is the blessed hope that's in Jesus. There is no hope in the Pope. When the Bible says Jesus, is the blessed hope. 
There is one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. Mary is not a man. She is a female and thus does not fit according to the scriptures, the mediator between God and men, but the man, Christ Jesus. Now, if you do not know what genders are, you have no difference between male and female when you reject the man, the male, the son of God. You'll go into hell. Where the worm dieth not. It's your choice. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Or you can believe in anything and everything else and go to hell. Are you saying, preacher, tell me to go to hell? No, I'm telling you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ that you might be saved. But if you don't, you will go to hell. That's so old and old-fashioned and archaic. And yet the disciples and the apostles preached it. You will be amazed how many times Jesus spoke about hell. The entire story of the life, death, burial, resurrection of Jesus is because men are going to hell. It's that simple. To wake up in hell when you've heard a preacher preach on how not to get to hell. How about getting directions from somebody to go somewhere and you avoid those directions and you end up somewhere else? We're here to show you how to get to heaven, and that's through Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. When he said there's no access to the Father but by him. And some of you are going to say, well, my church, my priest, how about the great high priest, Jesus Christ, which overrides your priest? My high priest, Jesus, overrides any pastor. And when you want to rely on a priest, rather than the high priest, Jesus, my high priest, Jesus, does not found a little boy. Yep. The priests have fondled little boys. Jesus don't. He saves little boys. Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me, not for sexual pleasures, but to save their soul. How's that for your priest? When a church allows men to take the place of Jesus, when do you do that? When they say they take your sins and they can't because they are a sinner. Christ can take your sins and cast them as far as east from west. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. 
You know, man can forgive you of your sins, but he can't forget. There are people who have done wrong against me, and I have forgiven them. But I have not forgot. God not only has forgiven the sins under the blood, but he has also erased and forgot those sins. Amazing, wonderful God that we have. How do you know that man that's taking your sins is not writing them down to blackmail you? They've been known to do that, you know. But my God, my Savior Jesus Christ forgives and forgets when you confess your sins. If you confess your sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. The eraser that will erase your sin is the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Without spot, without wrinkle, without sin. Acts 20:28 20, says that blood of Jesus is God's blood. So if you belong somewhere where God is not Jesus, you are in a cult. Because the Bible teaches God is Jesus. Thomas said, my Lord, my God. Jesus said, I and the Father are one. What are you going to do with that? Oh, I'll tell you what we do with that. We rewrite the Bible so we can teach what we want. And we call that a religion. Oh, isn't Jesus a religion? No, nope, he came out of the tomb three days and three nights, according to the scriptures. Religion is when you die, you stay dead. And dead people go to hell. Those that have life through Jesus Christ are absent from the body and present with the Lord. Let me give you assurance today. If you do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Preacher, you don't preach enough love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. And that life has been set forth in the Son of God. Salvation is sure and free. Salvation is sure and it's free. Jesus is able to save your soul and save it to the other most. Only by Jesus Christ are you able to be saved and go to heaven. The love of God is He set forth His Son. God did not set forth a church. 
The church comes after salvation. The church is a body of Christians saved by Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's it. That's the love of God. It is plain and simple to see that Jesus saves and only by Jesus. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And now we can go into implication since the music has been turned off. It is the glory of God that Jesus Christ is uplifted and the devil's downplayed. Because there is a God, there is a devil, there is heaven, and there's hell.